Saludos amigos, ¿cómo están? Daniel Sicar nuevamente con ustedes compartiendo temas de gran interés para el correcto aprendizaje del idioma inglés. We want you just to continue practicing with us, keep in touch with us, check our videos, check your movies, check all the levels we have been working on. Tratemos de revisar todos los videos y los temas en los que hemos trabajado. Seguimos conectados con el tema B1, temas de, de, de buen nivel, temas de interés para su día a día, para que los compartan y practiquen el idioma de inglés. Today with a great and excellent topic and very useful porque lo usamos todos los días. You practice this every day at home, in your car, in your jobs, so it's very important. The TV programs, okay? Programs, which is spells here with ES and double M, is a British way to call TV programs. It's like the British call them, you know? the way British call this. So, uh, we're going just to analyze a few of them, a few of TV programs. It sounds simple, but uh, we just want to go deep on that, okay? So, TV programs, which is in the middle of this image, la tenemos en la mitad, el título de la imagen. And right next, no, on your left, if I'm not wrong, on your left side, you will see a TV. Okay, you will see a black TV right here. And above that, we see a program, right, with a few examples. So I want you, as a homework, if you want to do it, I want you to fill up the blank spaces, the blank gaps. At home, over there, do your own research because I want you to put a little bit of effort by yourselves, okay, por ustedes mismos. If you haven't checked the reflexive, the reflexives uh, topics, right, the reflexive, the reflexives topic, We, I want you to check our videos, check this B1 level. It has amazing topics, uh, topics where you can just suggest us uh, new ideas or to complement the topics. You guys know a lot, so I know that you can contribute uh, to this uh, program, okay? Now, we have these examples right here, a comedy program right next to program examples in the orange branch. It says a comedy program. It's a program of comedia, right? A comedy program. So, what can you ask when you're watching TV? You can make questions like, is that a comedy program? I don't know, Friends, for example. Is that serious comedy? Is that a comedy program? You can say, no, it's not. Or, yes, it is. It's a comedy program. It's very fun. It's very funny. That's a comedy program. Down there we see a film, right? A film it will be a movie, ¿no? Sería como tal una película, a film. A film, and I want you to complete the blank space, okay? I want you to think about examples of programs, different programs. I don't know if it's a film, a horror movie, or whatever comes to your mind, okay? But we will see some other examples. So down here in the purple side, en esta parte igual púrpura, vemos lo que es BBC, the number one. So HBO, right? We see HBO and Eurosport, for example, is a new is a channel from Europe. So those are just examples of channels, right? Such as on the way above, so channel. And how do we say, for example, cambiar de canal? Have you ever thought about saying, oh, cambia de canal, no? change the channel, or switch, well, switch the channel, okay? Switch between channels, okay? Or switch among channels in order to change, because maybe you don't want to see what your brother or your sister or somebody else is watching. So uh, you ask for, I mean, you ask, Hey, can you change the channel? Could you change the channel? Remember, we have seen that in modal verbs, and I want you to recheck our videos for that. You will find that topic, and you will be amazed about the effort we put in order to give you more knowledge about this. So, just fill up the gaps with some other channels. Abajo, en la parte de abajo, we can see film in the orange part. We see a police drama, right? The police drama, it could be maybe, um, if you have a, pro a program, 
in mind, uh, you can just fill up that gap in front of police drama to, in order to have a better concept, okay? Police drama, so you can just go ahead and, and place something in front of that. Uh, we, we would really appreciate. Actually, you can subscribe and leave the comments below with the program you are suggesting in order to fill up those gaps. Okay, the reality show is lo que es un drama policiaco en arriba, ¿no? Starkey Hutch, I don't know, it comes to my mind. The reality show, entonces un, un reality show es un, un, un ejemplo, sobre los, los ejemplos son Big Brother, for example, in order I know. I guess it's to find your brother, you know, survivor, in order to survive in front of different complicated situations. Or uh, if it's about singing, si se acerca de canto, if it's about singing, you can also uh, fill up the gap, you know, that gap in front of reality show, which is in yellow. You can add another uh, reality. I don't know, it could be American Idol or whatever comes to your mind. Any uh, reality show that you may suggest, that you can suggest, we would really appreciate it. A comedy program, once again, Friends, for example, is a comedy program. Two and a Half Men is also a comedy program. So if you are watching a comedy program, that's what you're going to say. Watch, guys. Watch is the verb. Ver televisión is to watch TV. You never say, I'm seeing TV or I'm looking at TV. No. El verbo para usar cuando estamos viendo algún programa is watch. To watch, okay? watching TV or voy a ver televisión, I'm going to watch TV, okay? Just to make sure you know. Okay, and the cartoon, no? Lo que son las caricaturas o los animados, cartoon. So I'm watching a cartoon, estoy viendo una caricatura. I'm watching this cartoon, it's one of my favorites. Estoy viendo esta caricatura, it's one of my favorites. Popeyes, por ejemplo, Popeye or Tom and Jerry, or Phineas and Ferb, those are cartoons, okay? They get into that category. Now, the synonym is an animation film, as I said. Tom and Jerry, the Smurfs, for example, the Smurfs, que son los pitufos, the Smurfs. So you choose your favorite cartoon. Think about a cartoon and post it, okay? The Thundercats, or a cartoon that you have in, in mind. Vamos a ir a la parte derecha superior, the upper right side. Entonces lo que hablamos, los verbos, ¿no? Switch on, which is, to switch on is establecer la señal o prender, por ejemplo, los dispositivos. Switch on the TV or turn on the TV. Those are two verbs that you can use in order for this topic. Can you switch on the TV? Can you turn on the TV? Podrías prender, entender. Or can you switch on... Caracol, can you switch on CNN News? Puede sintonizar, right? Switch on or turn on. Switch on the light, that means sirve para prender la luz, or turn on the light. So, turn on the light could fit the gap, perfectly could fill the gap that is down there, below switch on the light, or if you have any other suggestion, well, we will definitely appreciate that. We will appreciate that. Okay, on the left, on the le uh, right side, in ese lado derecho, vemos watch, right? We have watch, which is the verb I was talking about. Es un verbo muy, supremamente importante para lo que es la producción de, eh, como tal, de, de ver televisión, de ejecutar la acción. Watch, right? Watch TV is ver televisión, to watch TV. S eh, some other example is to watch someone, puedes usarlo para to keep in track of the person's movements, los movimientos. Watch makes reference, as a referencia, makes reference to, to something that is moving, to movement, okay? On your TV, on the internet, or if it's a video, that's why you say I'm watching a video, because the video, it, it has the action, or it, it produces movement, okay? I'm watching the baby, it's like you are always keeping track of the baby, you are following the baby all the time, so watching or the action to watch is movement. 
what's on is a very nice question para que ustedes entiendan cómo decimos qué están dando en televisión okay this is that's why this is B1 level queremos darles en nuestros videos eh, I want you to be able to talk with your people to talk to your people in daily situations entonces en qué momento eh, no hemos pensado en inglés tratar de eh, llegar a al punto de manejar este tema correcto no qué están dando what's on this is very simple but you have to know the context what's on también te sirve para el cine si van a ir al cine qué están dando el cine okay what's on what's on the cinema right or what movies are on okay so you can say uh, watching a uh, documentary for example un documental oh there is a documentary if you haven't seen the lesson of there is and there are si no han visto estos temas de hay o no hay hay en plural singular los invitamos a que revisen right our module our a2 module a2 level topics where you can find nuestros temas there is and there are it's very important that you check that because there is a documentary hay un documental or hay una película there is a film it could be a horror film comedy film it could be um, there are many films that you can say right action film so you you can help us suggesting us more documentary which is false friends no. document a piece of paper oh porque document is a piece of paper documentary is un documental para no confundirse y some examples of documentaries an inconvenient truth una verdad inconveniente or a documentary about animals i don't know the lions and the lion i don't know the, the king of the jungle so it could be a documentary and down there in la parte de abajo como tal miramos lo que es el quiz show versus the chat show so the quiz show is a or quiz versus a game show sorry the quiz in this orange side versus a game show entonces we're going to see some differences in a quiz show you need only some knowledge and quiz solo necesita conocimiento you only need knowledge in a game show you usually have to do something more you have to put on some obstacles some stages you prepare more an activity when they can just compete uh, but the game is has more things to you more things involved okay in this case you can uh, often use a game so it says in the cloud you can often use a game show instead of a quiz show también puedes usar lo que es un game show siempre instead of a quiz show because it has the knowledge part plus the game part perfecto yo perdí es otro ejemplo is when you have the answer but not the question so that's a game who wants to be a millionaire no quien quiere ser millonario is also a quiz or a quiz show okay a chat show is like a talk show, no? Que es un programa de presentación de maybe in the mornings, en las mañanas, when they just talk about many topics, they cook, they tell jokes, they basically just interview famous people, celebrities, they do a lot of gossip. So it doesn't contribute too much. I don't recommend you that at all. A chat show, eh, also the opera with no, the Oprah, the Oprah show, no, the Oprah Winfrey show, which is very famous, when they also interview people, and sometimes they have good stories. Si bajamos en la parte azul, the blue part, a game show. Oh, we have the game show, no, again, if we should quiz show, you need some knowledge, los comparativos. Tenemos algunos juegos, a game show, which could be a quiz show, we already saw that. And the news, no, las noticias, it's another program, right? You check news, and some connected words are new, which is not old, o sea, algo nuevo, nuevo. But newspaper, for example, siendo una palabra compuesta, newspaper, means paper with text about new things. Un papel con cosas nuevas, por eso news es de noticias. In grammar, the news is always singular. Las noticias siempre es una palabra en, en inglés que ya es la misma para singular o para plural. The news are great. Las noticias son geniales. The news is great. La noticia, la noticia es genial. Siempre se mantiene news. And the soap opera en la parte de azul 
down there, the soap opera, if we go down there, which is the last one, ya es la última, we have here, son las novelas, ¿no? the soap operas, etimología, right? It got its name, ¿sí? obtuvo su nombre, the soap opera, soap es jabón, opera is also like a play, ¿no? So it got its name because the first soap operas were sponsored, eran patrocinadas, by the producers of washing powder or soap. Increíblemente, la palabra novelas en inglés soap opera viene de sí, del jabón. Why? Because the, the sponsors, los patrocinadores, o in the commercials, were producers of soap. Eran normalmente productores de jabón of, or washing powder. So these are the TV programs, guys. I want you to review that, to stay connected with us. Check different programs in English. Check all these programs in English because they will give you a lot of this beautiful language. Contribute uh, you know, to us, I mean, with your comments. Leave a comment, post suggestions, guys. We want to improve. And we want just to give you everyday tips for your English, okay? Este es Daniel Sicar. Eh, por supuesto, esperamos que sigan con nosotros, estar conectados con el aprendizaje del inglés. Y los veo en otra oportunidad con más temas de nivel B1. Take care, guys.